Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Real quickly, can you do this with your golf bag? I bet you can't. Find out next how this golf bag is going to revolutionize the golf bag industry. Please hang up and try again. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Hope you're having a great week and a great day. Today we're taking a look at maybe the craziest golf bag I've ever seen. Some of the oddest features, some of the coolest features, um, but maybe the greatest golf bag for the people who take a cart or a pull cart. Stay tuned. So what I have in front of us is the Ask Echo SLC 130, which is their new, um, really I would say cart bag, um, pull cart, motorized cart golf bag with their crazy silent system. Not the silencer like OGO has, although it's very similar, their own version of their silence uh, top. So their top will start right with the top. It has a 15-way section here, 14 clubs, one putter. What's very unique about this bag, more than any other in the industry, is you have the ability, is you have the ability to put your clubs in and literally, we'll count to 10 here, 10. You have the ability where they literally don't move. My head cover may fall off here, but what a weird and crazy concept to have in a golf bag that it literally can sit up here upside down and your clubs don't move. And again, I've done this with full clubs. There's only nine or 10 in here now, but you can do it with a full bag as well. It's just an incredible, incredible system. The most secure system to keep your clubs in place and to stop them from rattling. So I wanna go over the features first of this bag and then we'll get into Who's this bag for? What are my thoughts, the pros and cons of this golf bag? So I've used this a few times now and really wanted to kind of get into my thoughts of this bag. So with the top 15-way section, and I'll show pictures of it here, um, putter section here, what's unique about this bag is obviously the system. And what I did, I actually took a weighted club um, and I'll show you guys here. This is it's an old trainer weighted club that I use to kind of get loose. Uh, unfortunately, most of the time, now it used to just be for beginning of the season and the end of the season. Now I need it all the time to just get my body warmed up. But I want to see if it could even hold this club. So when you take your club and you put it in, and I'll put a picture in, there's like a little channel at the bottom of this bag. And you can actually feel it grab it. That's how you have to keep your clubs. If you just put your clubs in, and I'll show you a picture, a better picture on another angle. If you just kind of poke it through the top here and don't push it down, it'll hold, but not as good. But if you push it down, you'll feel it audibly. I don't know if you can hear it on my mic, but it almost like it grabs it uh, and you can feel it when you're putting it in. So it's a very neat system. Um, I really like it. It's very cool. I would imagine we will see this on other golf bags, um, both stand and other golf bags at some point here in the future. Very cool system. If you're a guy like me and you got OCD and you don't like your clubs rattling, um, this is a great setup. You know, my putter here is a little rattling, um, but it's still in place. Like you really gotta kind of pull it out to get it out and then jam it back in. That, that you can hear audibly. So we'll start with the top. Top is very cool. I've only used this bag a few times, so I don't know if there's a breaking in period um, where they loosen up. I hope not, where they don't get loose and the clubs fall out. But it is take a little bit of work to get your clubs in and out, certainly early on. So let's get into what I find some interesting things here. The bag is symmetrical to a point. So both sides are almost identical, but they're a little different. So let's start with my right side, or probably the left side you're seeing here, and kind of features of this bag. What do we like and what do we don't like? So we'll start from the back here, I guess. So cart strap here, or single strap, I should say here, a handle here. These two, and these are adjustable with Velcro, these are for your pull cart. So if your pull cart has, which they all do, some type of close your system, this is where you can run it through. You can also obviously run through the handle, but they do a nice job with this. One of the most unique things I've ever seen in a golf bag ever, and I've, listen, I've been at this industry for years, decades, 
is this thing. This is a full bag cover. I thought this was the rain hood when I first got this to test out, but this is actually, and I'll show you guys here, an entire cover for your clubs. So this is an incredible thing, even has a little travel tag. Um, so if you want to fly with your clubs, I guess you could, or travel, I guess you could use this as your travel. Now, good luck to your clubs getting to um, their destination. Um, but a very unique thing. I've never seen this before um, in a golf bag. Uh, and, and again, I've been around for a while. Um, so this was new. I actually thought this was a great place for your rain hood. I actually, like I said, I thought this was your rain hood when I initially got it. So kind of a neat thing here. Uh, I'm not going to put it over the clubs today, but I mean, it's big as you can see. We'll just fold it back up and see how easy or hard it is to get this in or out. So I'm not going to make this perfect by any means. Um, but kind of a, I mean, guys, tell me in the comments. I, I've never seen that in a golf bag before. Uh, maybe tour bags, I've seen it, but not certainly that. So neat system here. Again, um, the darker finish with this black bag, I, I like. Um, we'll get over to this side now. So this is technically, if I'm looking at it, your left side or my left side, your probably right side, um, has a... Um, Hook and loop system here for your glove. I just took one of my old gloves just to show you guys how this works. Uh, works great. It also has this little loop here um, to attach whatever you want. I like this. This is one of the bigger ones I've ever seen on a golf bag. So I truly like that. Kind of a neat little system. Let's get into these pockets. So huge pocket here. You want to put massive amounts of donuts in there. And I'll show you guys on both camera angles here how big and cavernous that section is. So super big pocket here. The value pocket, uh, I have pros and cons to this. Um, and what I mean by this is it's a great pocket. It's for line. You guys can see here. Um, very cool. Has the neat zipper garages here. Has a nice rubber um, pull tabs here. I like it. The only thing I say I don't like with this is I don't know if I want to advertise everybody your value pocket. Now, am I being paranoid? Yeah, probably. Does anybody get really go into someone's bag? I don't know. I just don't think this is necessarily need to be called a value pocket. You can call it what you want, um, but I just think that was a kind of a weird wording for them. But the other pocket here, again, cavernous, huge pockets um, with this one as well. So I will say, again, symmetrical, but not symmetrical, and we'll get to the other side here. A very large, um, and it's lined here, uh, thermal lined for your water bottles and does have a, a port for moisture and stuff to get out. So let's get into this part of the bag. Um, and I'll back up a little bit here. Card strap here goes through here. And the one thing I'll say I don't like um, with this bag, and it happened to me, uh, what's say, a couple days ago, was it's hard, and this is tight. I mean, this is, and you guys can hear, it is tight to get in there. So getting a car trap in and out isn't the easiest. Uh, the cart strap tunnel goes through here. But top section here, magnet. Um, they actually send you an American flag. Um, I, for this section here, I just took one of my own and put my reflective American flag. Um, but pretty neat uh, system here. This is where I start running into problems um, with design. Not problems, just things I thought weren't maybe thought out as well. Um, this little pocket here is called your scorecard pocket. Um, and, and I'm just going to take, I don't have a scorecard in front of me, but I'll just take this little um, thing from Dick's. Let's say it's the size of your scorecard and you put it in here. You know, it stays, but man, it's, it's sticking out significantly. So this probably was I want to say an afterthought, but definitely maybe could have been made a little bigger to put something in, unless you fold your scorecard um, in multiple little pieces like that, and then it works. Um, so something that, again, I'm not trying to be overly critical, just want to kind of point out what was good and bad. The other thing I didn't love about this is this pen port here um, for a, a pen or a marker. I just took a big Sharpie. This is not a standard. Let me grab a smaller one here just so you guys can kind of see. So standard size Sharpie here doesn't fit. 
um, again so I don't know if it's just a design um, you know there's really nowhere to move this thing um, but again just kind of an odd you know would you put a pencil in there I mean maybe um, but again I, I don't use these ports so I'm not worried about it um, but again just something I wanted to point out that I think is maybe they'll fix in a revision um, but so far so good with that um, this zipper pocket here um, is just nylon lined uh, and I'll take pictures of the stuff and show you guys while you're looking um, so a neat pocket for balls or whatever you want to put in there pens ball markers what have you next pocket down um, is a little bigger and again I'll take pictures of this so you guys can see it when I'm talking here um, of the storage in there this large what I would call a ball pocket here at the bottom is also thermal lined as you guys can see here so what I also like about what Ask Echo does here um, is this is removable if you do want to get it embroidered. Um, so kind of a neat thing there. It unzips uh, and you can go get it embroidered where you want. So same water bottle pocket here, same thermal line. Very cool idea here. This is where the similarities of the symmetrical sides become a little different. Um, so this side, the, my right side, um, Depending on where you ride in the cart, so if you're the passenger, this is ideal because your bag obviously goes on this side. If you're on the driver's side, this gets eaten up by your uh, partner's golf bag, let's say. So I'm not, you know, I don't hate that um, they don't do it on both sides, but I think it would be nice to have this type of bag on both. But I'll digress. So a little hook and loop here. Again, same type of thing here, two different loops. Uh, one of the things here you'll see is an umbrella holder, and what I love what these guys have done is an umbrella sleeve that goes all the way down. Very reminiscent of the old ping hoofers back in the day that used to have the sleeves. I know some brands still do it, but not as many as we used to see. Um, huge pocket here. Here's your rain hood. Um, personally speaking, I would probably take this out of here and jam it um, here. Um, but just personal for me. Again, another value pocket, which I think is neat. Also velour line, so very cool bag uh, with that. Again, another super large um, pocket there. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of what's on the bottom of the bag. And, and again, you can see my struggles already, right? So if I want to lift this into my car, generally I think most of us would grab this handle and then look for a handle here. There's no handle here. The handle is flipped around. So you're basically putting your hand where your putter is, which is fine. Then there's a handle here. So the other thing you guys know that I love is the bottom of the bag. Since this is a cart bag, they're not going to put no slip materials because they're not, you're not walking with this bag. You're walking from your, your trunk to your cart uh, and then your cart to your trunk. So let's talk materials. Let's talk who this bag is for. So the materials are, I would say, good to very good. Um, you know, they almost have like a ripstop looking material in this black colorway. Um, you can see it in the gray a little more. They have three colorways that I've seen of this bag. This is my favorite. Um, I think it's the most, I don't want to say neutral, but maybe masculine. Um, I like the colors. I like the materials. Is the materials as good as a super high-end bag? No. This is not going to be a vessel, a ghost. In that world um, this is more of I would say a Sun Mountain-esque an OGO-esque um, ping to a certain degree although I think pings even stepped up their materials in the last year or so what would I rate this bag out of 10 um, you know material wise probably an eight and a half uh, it's not super plush you know this is plastic um, but really what you're paying for with this bag obviously is the top uh, the top is you know very very cool um, when I got this, I didn't know what to think uh, of the new silence top. It's very different in the, in the industry. I know OGO has their silencer, but very cool bag. Obviously, someone who's buying this bag, you're looking at the features, um, you know, where the where your clubs go, how they stay, and they, these don't move. Um, you know, again, do I think it's a challenge to get these clubs in and out? A little bit. And again, I would imagine these guys would break in a little bit, you know, over time. You can kind of audibly hear how it kind of clicks in there. Um, so it's kind of a, 
you know, neat system. Um, you know, do I think they're hard to get in and out? No, I don't know because everyone asks, um, what's the warranty on this top? I think right now they have a six month warranty. I don't know the longevity. Obviously this is a newer product, even with other brands. So I don't know long-term how well this top will hold up. Um, I think what's unique about what this particular brand does, what Ask Echo does is very different is their bottom of the bag is really the key element to keeping your clubs where they are. So even if the top wears out a little bit and it stretches out, that bottom piece is really what's catching uh, your clubs to keep them in place. So let's wrap up and say, who's this bag ideal for? But the guy who walks um, from their, the parking lot to the golf cart, that's who it's for. Um, I think this is a great travel bag as well. Um, obviously you can see your clubs you know, besides this putter here, um, they don't move. I mean, let me take this putter out and I'll show you guys here. You know, these clubs don't, do not move. I mean, and again, I have a weighted club. I don't know how many pounds this is, I think three and a half pounds. Um, even when I jam this thing in here, and I'll put it in here, you know, it, it, you can hear it audibly click in there. Um, they don't move. So if you're the guy who wants clubs that don't rattle and don't move, or lady, or child, um, this is an incredible golf bag. So overall, I like it. It's a very unique, um, has some very interesting features. Um, you know, overall, do I think it's the best bag for what it is? I haven't tested the OGO Silencer a lot. Um, I've, t I've seen it, looked at it. Uh, but I haven't used it. This one I've used for multiple rounds. I do like this bag. Um, I think it takes a little bit of getting used to, especially getting your clubs in and out. Um, I think the putter pit is where I struggle, um, as you guys probably have seen even in this video, to get clubs, you know, to, to stay. I mean, this, and I just want to audibly kind of show you guys. So, I mean, you hear when it kind of clicks in, right? But it takes a little bit of work, and then it still moves throughout. Um, but that's the only section I really kind of fight with this is how do I handle uh, the putter. Outside of that, I think the bag is super cool, super unique. Again, if you're a guy who is never going to walk ever or going to walk from uh, your garage to your trunk and your trunk to the golf course, this bag is ideal. Uh, right now, I believe this bag is in the low 300 price range. I don't know, you know if they're raising pricing for the next year. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I, there's, no, there's no royalties or anything for me, so don't feel like you need to use my, a code or anything for me. This is just kind of, um, as Bruce Willis said, just the facts, ma'am. These are just literally a, a very unbiased um, re review of this golf bag. And, and I appreciate Ask Echo for letting me kind of check this out and kick the tires. Um, I think they've done a great job with it. Um, so if there's anything else you guys want to see or have questions on it, certainly let us know, um, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.